Hello everyone, and this is Aizada. In this video uh, today, I'd like to show you how we can set up loan products. So in order to uh, set up a loan product, we need to go to the configuration section, and then we need to choose loan products. Uh, once we have chosen the loan product, we will see uh, the list of existing loan products here. And to create a new loan product, you need to click the create button. So once you click the create button, you will see the following fields which we have to specify. Uh, so here in name, we have to specify the name of the loan product. Let's say the name is business loans. And here in code, we need to specify a short unit code for designation this new loan product. For example, it can contain uh, the capital letters of the product. Uh, let's say BL001. Uh, in availability, we need to specify what, for what kind of customer this loan product is uh, dedicated. Let's say the loan product will be for individual customers and companies. Here in schedule type, we have to specify the schedule. Uh, let's say it's flat and it's monthly based. Uh, in currency, uh, yeah, you can specify the currency when you disburse loans uh, in several currencies. So let's say we disburse loans in USD. Uh, interest rate, here we need to specify the minimum and maximum values for interest rate. Let's say the interest rate will be between 18% and up to 24%. In the amount, we need to specify the uh, minimum amount. Let's say it's uh, 1000 and maximum is 30,000. Maturity, uh, it's a period uh, for which the loan product is given and let's say that maturity will be between 12 and 18 months because our schedule is monthly based. Uh, so grace period is a period uh, when uh, the uh, only interest will be collected, not the principal. So let's say that grace period is up to six months. So there is a uh, has fees here. We can check the box has fees if required. And fees are individuals or entities receiving the loan on behalf of the customer. So now for now, let's uh, skip it. And here in enter fees, uh, we can select the uh, fees from the drop down list. And those fields, th those fees are, are configured by users in, in, in the configuration section. Let's say that uh, we have entry fee for um, uh, opening loan account. And uh, top up uh, allows increasing the amount of the initially approved loan up to a certain value. Uh, we can check the box top up. Uh, to set top up limit and top up uh, OLB, let's click top up. And here in top up maximum limit, uh, li limit uh, we need to specify the limit for the top up uh, based on disbursement amount. Let's say, okay. And here in top up maximum OLB, we need to specify. Uh, maximum oil the amount for the top up let's say it's uh, 30,000 and then uh, we need to select accounts from the drop down list according to uh, the configured chart of accounts so let's uh, select let's specify the uh, principal account so let's say we use loans uh, receivable for the principal uh, interest accrual okay interest accrual let's say interest you can type to find the needed uh, account okay and let's say it's accrued interest receivable interest income let's say it's interest interest income from loans penalty okay for penalty we use uh, penalty receivable 
penalty for penalty income let's say we use uh, fines penalties this account for write of portfolio okay write of principal uh, write of interest and write of penalty okay so once you have specified everything uh, you can click save button and this new loan product will be available here this is a business loan and if you need to uh, edit some uh, parameters you can click the needed uh, loan product let's say this one you can click on it you can click edit and you can change the uh, let's say some parameters like amount, interest rate, uh, and so on. So, thank you for your attention uh, and see you next time.